in Beijing, the China capital. Preparations for the Summer Olympics were going on with great fanfare. After many years of trying, China was finally given its first chance to host the Summer Olympics 2008. For this reason, China wanted to complete this international event without any obstacles, for which $40 billion was spent not only to build a new stadium, but also to renovate the Beijing airport to give a good impression to the world, and also added thousands of new buses to local transports. Lights, generators, security and transport were all ready, but still something seemed amiss. The opening ceremony of the Olympics was just two days away. Teams from all over the world had arrived in Beijing, tickets were booked and the whole world was eagerly awaiting this event. The Chinese government received such news that the ground came out from under their feet. Yes, the China Meteorological Department had issued a forecast of torrential rains in Beijing, and that too on the day of the opening ceremony of Olympics. This news of rain fell like lightning on the administrator because the stadium in which this event was to be held was Beijing National Stadium, and this stadium was open air. In other words, the Chinese government's years of hard work on this event was about to be wasted in just one hour of rain. Now there was only one day left in the event. All the administrators were sitting in tension that the Chinese government has come up with a solution that will rain, but not wet the stadiums and streets of Beijing. Welcome to my Info Sage TV. To deal with this problem, the Chinese government used a technology called cloud seeding. And on the day of event, when thick clouds were moving towards Beijing, they forced the rain outside of Beijing, due to which the sky was completely clear at the time of event. Viewers, cloud seeding is a technology that can be used to bring rain to any part of the world. How does this technology work? how humans have now got the power to bring rain anywhere, at any time. To know this, we must first know how rain occurs. The most important thing for rain is the sun. When the sun heats the surface of the ocean, the water evaporates into gas and rises to the sky. As the gas goes up into the sky, it cools and turns back into water, where small water droplets combine to form clouds. But in this cloud, these small droplets do not mix together because these droplets are in the purest form of water. Means it does not contain any kind of particles, but as soon as these droplets come in contact with dust particles or smoke particles, they combine with each other to form large droplets, and due to the gravity of the earth, they start falling on the ground, which we call rain. This was the primary function of rain, but how did cloud seeding make rain possible? Cloud seeding technology was first discovered in 1946 by American chemist Vincent Schaefer, in which a compound called silver iodide is sprayed into the sky above the clouds, which forces the small droplets in the cloud to meet each other, and these droplets become so heavy that they start falling to the ground. But it is not just called rain, but artificial rain. In 1967, during the U.S. and Vietnam War, the U.S. defeated Vietnam through cloud seeding. But the question is, how? How did the Americans use this technology to weaken the Vietnamese army? Viewers, it happened, was that during the Five Years' War, every year during the monsoon season, the U.S. used its C-130 Hercules silently for cloud seeding on the border of Vietnam. This cloud seeding has extended Vietnam's monsoon season every year causing devastating floods which break the roads and landslides caused by heavy rains in mountainous areas. Due to road closures, supplies to the Vietnamese army were disturbed and they became weaker with every passing year. This operation was named Popeye by the US, but what Dubai is using cloud seeding for is truly surprising. Dubai, which is another name for glamour and where all kinds of luxuries are available. But do you know that? How hard is Dubai to collect a single drop of drinking water? Because it only rains 10 times a year in Dubai, therefore no river flowing here. Water is abundant in Dubai, but it is salt water, which is not safe to drink under any circumstances. If this salty water is drunk, a person can die in one stroke. But where does Dubai get clean drinking water? For this, 
Giant reverse desalination plants have been installed in Dubai, which remove salt from seawater and make it drinkable. But it is not all that simple. These plants, which run day and night, filter not millions, but hundreds of liters of water per day, but they also consume a lot of electricity. Due to which, the cost of filtering 1,000 liters of water in Dubai is $60. To avoid this expense, Dubai also collects drinking water through cloud seeding. Yes, in Dubai, a dam has been built in the mountains of Hage, over which the Dubai government does cloud seeding in the sky. When it rains, raindrops slide down from the mountains and go into this dam instead of going into the sea, which is used for drinking purposes. And also Dubai generates electricity from this water where the cost of filtering 1,000 in the filter plant was $60. And with cloud seeding, this is done in just three cents. I hope you will love this video and don't forget to comment down your opinion. Thanks for watching. See you soon in the next video.